What's up, Leo? It's your girl, Sarah from Savvy Sentient, and welcome to your March 2022 love reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you all are new here, hello and welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. Regardless of which group you fall into, thank you for all your support and for your viewership. Please make sure that you leave a like on this video to help out the algorithm, and it really is uh, greatly appreciated and also is free. All right. Um, if you all are looking for personal readings, you can book me at SavvySentient.com. That will be linked in the description box below, along with my Patreon, with all of my other social media, my Spiritual Safe Place group on Facebook, and with all of the links to the cards that I use today. So let's go ahead and get into your reading, Leo. Okay. Yeah, what's up with Leo in love? What is the overall energy of this reading for Leo in love? Leo, every time I try to leave, something keeps calling me back, me back. Having a difficult time walking away from someone, knowing that you need to, but you just can't. You just won't. You just shan't. All right? Looks like we're having a difficult time ending something, walking away from something here, Leo. So let's see what this is in reference to. I'm going to go ahead and get a lover's oracle for you. A lover's oracle. Beautiful card. And it says, only time will tell. Only time will tell. So maybe you're having a hard time deciding if you even need to go. But I guess you're going to find out in time. All right. And we're going to pull from the Island Time Wellness deck as, as well. Two more, please, Spirit, for Leo. Okay, so we have keys on a ring coming up. This is a card of options, decision, unconventional, string along, and one night stand. Okay, so you may be one of many options, or you may be um, exploring your options to see what needs to happen in this connection. We also have the sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it with the hammer energy. Okay, and the coffee cup, meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in a friendship. Uh, you may be leaning on your friends in this time to decide or help you decide what to do about this connection. All right, so let's see what's happening here. Uh, this person that Leo is dealing with, what's going on with them? How do they view the connection? What's going on with Leo's person? Mm. That's how we're going to start. <laughs> That's how we start in the reading. Um, sheesh. Okay. Oh, all right then. What the? Leo. How does Leo feel about this connection? Leo, you're the one who's holding on. How does Leo feel about this connection? What energy? Mutual energy. <laughs> I don't have time for this reading right here, Leo. What the hell? What is this? Bottom of the deck, three of cups possible third party situations going on here um leo i don't know if you aware or, or not of third parties but this person that you're dealing with has a secret and it's a secret that is not going to make you very happy we have the sun energy with the high priestess. The sun is in the reverse. So there is a lack of clarity. There is something that is unseen. The high priestess energy represents sensuality, sexuality, intuition, and secrets, hidden mysteries. 
she can also indicate pregnancy. There is a secret that you are not aware of that is not going to make you very happy, Leo. This secret is going to feel like a betrayal. We have the Ten of Swords energy with the Knight of Swords energy. A fast betrayal. Unexpected even. And then we have the Devil energy here. Toxicity. Excess. Overdoing things. Obsession. If you are dealing with someone who seems to be obsessed with someone from their past, I'm hearing sex addiction. Someone here has a sex addiction. Of course, this is not going to be everyone's story, but this sex addiction led them to some type of hidden or secret pregnancy. But you're going to hear about it, whatever it is that they're hiding. Could be an STD. But when you find out about this, this is going to be, it's going to feel like a betrayal to you. Okay. Um, I feel like for you, Leo, you're really trying to hold on to this King of Wands. That's how you view this person. Four of Pentacles with the king of wands you are holding on to dear life for dear life trying to fix this thing with this person um not wanting to walk away from it even if you are aware that you are one of many options with the key on a ring i feel like this um person that may be possibly pregnant was the result of a one night stand and that um in itself is kind of scary leo because are we having unprotected sex with one night stands? Um, I highly advise that you get a checkup, Leo. I don't know who this is that you're dealing with, but they not, they not, they're, they're not. Okay. We have you showing up with the four of swords and the ace of pentacles. Um, you, you, I feel like you're aware if you're not aware of this specific situation, this person has hurt you before. Four of Swords is showing up. That shows up after the Three of Swords. So heartbreak. Um, for me as a reader, that's intentional heartbreak. Okay? With the Ace of Pentacles. And you are thinking about the things that have happened before. And you're wondering, like, is there a future here? Is there any stability here? Could I possibly have any type of new, stable beginning with them? If you've already... Um, restarted a situation with them, already you're seeing the disloyalty. Already you're seeing the instability. But yeah, you're holding on. What's that about? Why are you holding on to this, Leo? Clarify the Four of Pentacles with the King of Wands. Leo, I don't know if you know this or not, but we can fight because you're holding on to this person because this is daddy. <laughs> like this is your daddy energy, your divine masculine or your divine counterpart. If you are, you know, the opposite gender or, you know, however you identify. But this is someone that you are viewing as like a divine counterpart. Like you can't let go of like the dominance, the like your in the days like you're just <laughs> you're in the days with this person like you like the the power that they have this person may be a boss might be your boss tread lightly with that one mm. tell me about the four of swords and the ace of pentacles in reverse nine of swords i mean nine of pentacles you may you may decide to be single. Bottom of the decks of six of wands. You may feel like that's the only way that you're gonna get any type of success is by going your own way, doing your own thing. Cause this person got some 
share it with them. What is the sun with the high priestess? The world. When you find out that secret, you're going to be ready to be done with it. You're going to be ready to be done with it. You may be having a difficult time walking away with these Eight of Cups in reverse, but once this secret comes out, you're going to be like, damn, really? I thought we was better than this, but apparently not. Like, this situation here, mutual energy is the lovers with the temperance energy. I feel like this is karmic. And both of y'all want to heal it. Both of y'all want to make things right and progress and move forward. But once this secret comes out, Leo, I don't think that you're going to be willing to. Like, literally, this secret is going to just set your whole world on fire, just like this card. Monology message. Monology, Monology. What messages do we have for Leo? Hmm. First card out says the end of a tough cycle approaches, and it is. <laughs> and it will. Okay. You had a tough so time deciding what to do about this situation? Trust. It's about to come to a conclusion. And then we have the have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent. Um, when this card comes up, especially in the love reading, it makes me feel like just because something didn't work out with this person, don't give up on love. Don't give up on um, whatever dreams you have as far as love goes. Um, and also, if this person has made you, you know, kind of put your dreams on the back burner, maybe it's time to reawaken those those things. Okay, and finally, what do you need to release? I don't know, Leo. What do you what do you need to release? What do you need to release? Moving on. Rebel Rebel. Talk nice or don't. I don't care, but please tell Leo what they need to hear. The first part that comes out says, take a fucking trip. Go see some shit. Do some new things. Talk to people cooler than you. It's really giving you're wasting your time here. You need to go and get out and get something. Because this situation is not it. The next one, you look like a shit show. You're a hot mess. Fact. Clean yourself up. When this card shows up, I usually say, hey, friend. Maybe you're just presenting as like a shit show because of uh, emotional imbalance. Maybe you're posting on Facebook, like all these ups and downs. But literally, in this case, I feel like you look like a shit show in every way, shape, and form. Like you're chasing this person who is dog walking you. Dog walking you. And you're having a hard time to, to let that go. Now... If you're new here, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you didn't think, I mean, if you didn't know anything about me, but I don't sugarcoat nothing. I'm your homegirl that tells you the truth. I'm not the one who's going to give you this uh, lollipop gumdrop reading. I'm going to give you the facts, okay? And this is not, this, this situation not nice. It's not. And figure shit out on your own. Um... With that card, I'm feeling like you are leaning on this person. Like, what are we going to do, babe? How are we going to... Like, it's like you never... Like, when it comes to the relationship, you're not an independent. You're not. It's always you getting their input. Which, in a healthy relationship, yes, that's how it should be. But you're needing to prioritize yourself here, Leo. You need to make yourself a priority. What this person wants doesn't fucking matter because they don't give a fuck about what you want. You would want to not get cheated on. You would want to not have this person knocking people up or getting knocked up, depending, you know, take it how it resonates, but getting knocked up. Like you would want somebody to be loyal to you. 
You wouldn't want somebody who you would constantly have to keep looking over your shoulder. But I digest and digress. Let's go ahead and get your advice, Leo. Let's go ahead and get your advice. Hmm. Advice for Leo. Period. Spirit, say it louder for the Leos in the back. Because what? Hmm. Clarify that moment of reverse. Hmm. Basically. Leo. Three of Wands energy. Waiting for your shifts to come in with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. You're showing up as the Four of Pentacles in the upright, which means that you're holding on to daddy over here. This energy, this advice is telling you to let go. Let go and wait for your shifts to come in. Let go and wait for a better deal. Wait for something better. Because you deserve better than this. So why hold on to this? The moon card. Things done in the dark, they're going to come to the light. The moon is in the reverse. They're going to be revealed. The things that are being done in the dark are going to be revealed. And when that happens, when these secrets come to light, this Ace of Cups is not about um, having a new beginning in love with this person. This Ace of Cups is about filling your cup up. They dragged you. It's time for you to replenish. It's time for you to heal. Your new beginning is in healing, Leo. Don't jump into another relationship. Don't engage with a new partner. Don't do nothing else until you heal from this. I strongly advise that your A1 day ones, the ones that you trust the most in life, are who you surround yourself by right now because what's incoming from this person, what you're about to find out is going to fucking blow your mind. And you're going to need the support of the people who love you. Sorry, this is what it is, Leo. This is your reading. If this resonates for you, please let me know in the comments below. If you need me to support you, I'm here. I'll talk talk you through it. If I mean, I'm we're not going to do any pull-ups. We ain't going to pull up on them. But I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. We can we can talk about it. All right? So let me know in the comments below if this resonates for you. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And until the very next time that I read for you all, Leo, I'm wishing you all love and light, a little bit of extra bell money if necessary, and everything right. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, Leo.